ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू एज पर योर चॉइस आई हैव चेंज द टाइमिंग ऑफ द क्लास फ्रॉम एट थर्टी पी एम टू फाइव पी एम एंड देर आर जस्ट अ फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास बट नन द लेस वी विल स्टार्ट अवर क्लास इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड अ डिस्कशन ऑन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ नॉवल वी डिफाइन नॉवल एंड देन वी हैड अ ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द नॉवल then we moved on to some of the uh, famous novelists of english literature and then we moved to the story or the concept of american novel in a in a in a in a in, a, in two or three minutes today we shall discuss another very important topic which is of general importance that is we shall discuss the biography of our novelist ernest hemingway it's going to be a short lecture but the lecture is very important in the sense that you will be after you complete uh, this lecture you will be in a in a position to to know about the brief biography of the novelist ernest hemingway who is an american novelist i shall share my screen with you here is the screen where i shall introduce the topic with you here it is find ernest hemingway an introduction see if you want to know about uh, the life history of this novelist we need at least one or two hours to complete the Uh, the biography of the writer but we are not supposed to uh, have a detailed discussion on the biography of ernest hemingway so the introduction will be brief we will be talking about his birth his death his uh, important episodes in his life and uh, we will talk about some of his important books and the awards and honors uh, presented to him uh, during his lifetime so here we start this is the first slide which is very important because here you will get two pictures in front of you on one side you have young ernest hemingway on the other side you have an old ernest hemingway what i mean to say is that on one side you have the writer during his young days you can see it very clearly i hope and on the other side of the slide you have ernest hemingway in his 50s right so this is the photograph these are the two photographs of ernest hemingway just to make you acquainted with the face of this writer i will move on to the next slide here it is a brief biography the full name of our novelist is Ernest Miller Hemingway Ernest Miller Hemingway was born on 21st July 1899 in the village Oak Park Illinois United States of America right so the important point here is that you have to remember that he was born on 21st July 1899 his father's name was clarence andmunds hemingway who was a physician by profession and his mother was grace hall hemingway who was a famous musician of her time so we can say that ernest hemingway belonged to a a, a well educated family a famous family of that area he was a novelist he had tried his hand in short story writing he worked as a journalist for a considerable amount of time and he was an adventurer as well when i say adventurer i mean that he was involved in some of the adventurous activities during his lifetime we will discuss those activities in the next slide 
when he was in the high school in his village he started writing he started writing small short stories and translations i will move on to the next slide here it is a brief biography continues when he was young he was rejected by the us army for poor eyesight because he was an adventurous person like i said in the last slide he wanted to get enrolled he wanted to get into the us army but he was rejected for his poor eyesight because his eyesight was not you know up to the mark which is needed in a soldier but his passion uh, for army his passion for adventure it could not stop him from getting enrolled as an ambulance driver in the first world war so you all know that the first world war started in 1914 so when he was just 16 or 17 years old rather 18 years old he got enrolled as an ambulance driver and he started working in the army and he used to pick up the injured soldiers during the first world war one day on july in july 1918 he got badly injured on the front because the war was going on so he got badly injured and he was admitted in a hospital for a long time it is said that when he was recuperating in the hospital he fell he fa he fell in love with the nurse who was there in the hospital and who was 7 years older than ernest hemingway and it is also said you can read it from the sources that when he got well he proposed that nurse and asked her to marry him but the nurse rejected his proposal and sent him a letter in which she informed him that she was going to marry another army officer ernest hemingway as i told you was involved in lot of adventures so throughout his life he loved fishing camping hunting and bull fighting many a times he got injured during these adventurous activities but he kept you know uh, going to fishing camping and hunting with his friends and family though he got settled in paris for a considerable amount of time when he got married for the first time but he traveled a lot he traveled to the different parts of the world he went to Fr uh, france cuba toronto africa etc once in africa he got injured in a plane crash as far as his personal life is concerned he married four times for the first time he married in 1921 and the name of the lady was hadley richardson with whom he stayed in paris for some years he divorced he got divorced from this lady in 1927 he married another lady pauline pfeffer in 1927 and this relationship remained for a long period of time that is up to around 13 to 14 years and then he got divorced in 1940 he married for the third time with a with a lady martha gelhorn in 1940 but after 5 years in 1945 they got separated and at last he married mary welch in 1946 when he was 47 years old during all this time he traveled a lot he covered the second world war as a journalist and in the meanwhile he wrote some of the best novels of american literature for which he is famous even today and is one of the most widely read novelist in the history of english literature towards the end of 
his life he got depressed because <laughs> because because he could not you know uh, once he crossed around 57 or 58 years of age his mental caliber started deteriorating right and as we always say that intelligent people are you know they are usually sad when they are not able to you know maintain their intelligence when they are not able to maintain maintain the graph of their hard work so towards the end of his life he remained mentally depressed and besides that as we already know that he had met some accidents in his life as well so because of that he was not physically fit as well he was hospitalized many a times and once when he was discharged from the hospital he came home and he shot himself dead on 2nd july 1961 thus one of the best writers from american literature committed suicide on 2nd july 1961 this is the brief biography of the writer i hope it was uh, beneficial for you right we discussed i showed you the two photographs of the writer then we had a discussion on the the name of the place where he was born i told you the name of his parents we discussed uh, him as an ambulance driver where he got injured about his adventures about his traveling you know uh, adventures his getting injured in a plane crash his getting married uh, uh, four times i gave you the names of all the four ladies and towards the end about his suicide we had a discussion now we shall move on to the name of some of his important novels i have not written the names of all the novels written by him these are these four novels are considered to be the masterpieces the sun also rises this novel got published in 1926 and it gave him a lot of fame as a novelist another one which is an autobiographical novel is a farewell to arms which got published in 1929 and this novel is full of some autobiographical elements the third and one of the best novels written by ernest hemingway is for whom the bell tolls in 1940 and then came the masterpiece the old man and the sea which is there in our syllabus which we are going to discuss in our next lecture it got published towards the end of his career in 1952 right so these four novels you should remember the names of these four novels these are the most important works written by ernest miller hemingway now i have one more slide for you where we shall discuss the honors and awards pn awards and hemingway awards these two awards are have been established in his name as an honor to ernest hemingway these two awards are given today to the writers in english literature to commemorate the memory of ernest hemingway as far as awards given to ernest hemingway are concerned he got brown star award in 1947 during you know after uh, this world war second ended he got this brown star award not for literature not for writing but for bravery in the world war second and then one of the famous awards of the world pulitzer prize he was awarded in the year 1952 and this award was given for our novel which we shall study that is the old man and the sea it is the old man and the sea and the most important award in his life is the nobel prize in 1954 for english literature this award too came was uh, this award too was uh, you know awarded to him just after two years 
after the publication of The Old Man and the Sea, that is in the year 1954. So this is something about Ernest Hemingway, where we discussed a a, not a detailed but a brief biography of the writer. Then we talked about some of his famous works, and then we had a discussion on the honors and awards presented to Ernest Hemingway. I end my lecture with two very important quotes by Ernest Hemingway, and which are, you know, uh, you will feel like everybody faces these issues in life. In the first quote, I quote, happiness in the, in the intelligent people is the rarest thing I know, unquote. So he says that in the intelligent people, happiness is the rarest thing. He believes that intelligent people are rarely happy. Right? In the other, uh, at, at some other place, he says, I quote, there is nothing to writing. All you do is sit down at a typewriter and bleed, unquote. So when he talks about writing, when somebody asks him about how does he write, he says there is nothing to write in. You just need to sit down at a typewriter and bleed. I hope you know the meaning of the word bleed. So for him, writing is like bleeding. Right? So these are the two important quotes by Ernest Hemingway. Stay safe. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask.